Okay, now we have our two files saved here. We have the test 51, which we have acquired, and we have the, the saved spectrum polystyrene. Uh, say we no longer want the polystyrene, we can simply remove that by right-clicking on the file name, and we can just say close, and that will remove it. So we're left with our test 51. Now let's say we want to do a peak pick. We want to label these picks. But we can do that by going back up here to the manipulation screens, uh, manipulation tabs, and we'll select the one that's called peak pick. This opens a new window and allows us to set our parameters for peak picking. Let's go ahead and say calc, and that way we'll see kind of where we are. And notice that our peak pick parameters are picking up a lot of this interference fringe. Uh, this is from the thickness of the polystyrene card we used, and we want to get rid of that. So we have our threshold set at 0 0.01 absorbance units, and most of these are coming in about, uh, they're under 0.2. So if I set this at, say, 0.2, that will probably keep these um, uh, wagging bands here, but we'll eliminate that. So let's go up and let's set our threshold to 0.2. And again, we'll calculate again. And notice that we, we removed most of these um, interference fringe bands, and we have kept the other bands that we want. If we're satisfied with this, uh, and we do have the option of just using a common baseline or adding uh, points, uh, we could actually add a peak if we wanted to. Um, if it's not selected here, we could actually add one. But let's go ahead and uh, say OK. And we go back now, and we also now have a table that shows the peaks, the intensity, corrected intensity, which would include the baseline that it used. Uh, it would subtract the peak number from the baseline to make it a corrected value. Uh, the base of the, of the, uh, of the peak, the, the, uh, the uh, other base of the area, uh, of the peak band, the area itself, the corrected area, again with background, and uh, any color that we might add to it. It is possible by right-clicking and going to Graph Preferences and setting Advanced, I'm sorry, Style, we could actually fill the peaks. And if we select that, then our peaks are filled. And uh, again, we would have to adjust the, uh, the threshold and the noise in order to, to have these peaks uh, filled properly. So I'm going to remove that now again. Right-click on the graph, Graph Preferences, Style, and I'll unclick Fill. And that is how we uh, pick peaks.